Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the potting shed. Uh, this morning, oh, I'm going to be planting my first tomatoes into the greenhouse. Um, but before I did that, the other week, I put some frameworks up. And what I did, I used these little green clips from the garden centre. Pay about five pounds for them. They fit into the recesses in the greenhouse and attach your bamboo canes to them, stick them in the ground. And these are pretty solid. And I've done that on both sides of the greenhouse. This side here is south facing, so it's going to get the most sun. So this is where the best tomatoes are going to go. Okay, we've got a lovely day for it today. So the framework is up. All I've done is tie the bamboo canes to the clips in the recesses. And then down here on the soil, this is the next thing. Last winter, I bought a couple of bags of well-rotted farmyard manure. You can see the organic matter in the soil. Okay, it does smell a bit when you first put it in, but over the months, the smell's gone, but the fibrous, nutrient rich material is still there in the soil so i don't need to grow in grow bags i'm just going straight into the soil and this fibrous nutrient rich material is going to feed our tomato so i shouldn't need any tomato food and it's also going to hold on to the moisture so in summer when it's really hot i don't need to feed or water as much so it's a win-win and i'm planting straight into the ground no grow bags needed much better plants much tastier crops Okay, what we're going to do next is put a tomato in. It's dead basic, but might as well show you. Just check you can actually see where I'm working. There we go. Okay, so our first tomato. If you can see that, is Costaluto Fiorentino. It's an Italian beefsteak tomato and it's used for slicing. And it's, it's only a small tomato plant, this. There we go, it doesn't need to be much bigger than that. I'm not gonna waste compost repotting it. And this was, the seeds were sown in March, mid-March. And as you can see, we've got a nice little bit of root forming on the bottom there. All I'm gonna do is just gently tease those roots out so they get a good, a good start and go deep into the soil. And this big beefsteak tomato is really nice on salads. And looking at the price of everything at the moment, if you can grow your own, you might save yourself quite a bit of money in the long term. So just test the depth. Okay, I'm gonna plant that just a touch deeper. There we go, than it was in the pot. And that's it. Okay, you wanna leave yourself a couple of inches between that and the bamboo cane. And then as the plant gets bigger, we're going to tie some string around it and support the main stem. It's very fragile at the moment, so that is it basically. All I'm going to do is give that a drink. I'm just going to go around the base of the plant. I'm not going to soak the leaves. Okay, nice little drink. And within the next couple of weeks, you'll see a marked difference. So we'll come back and look at it, but it's up to that first notch on the bamboo. Let's come back in a couple of weeks and check it out. Okay, so supports, feed your soil up, grow in soil if you're not using bags, and plant your crop the right depth, close enough to the bamboo so that you can tie it in. I hope this has been helpful. If you like the potting shed and the advice I'm giving you, please like and subscribe, and we'll come back and we'll check on these later. Okay, see you soon.